Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the second half of our terrestrial transport competition. We've got quite a few people already in the house, or I should say in the auditorium. So uh, that's good. Um, who got there first tonight? Oh, Neil got there first. So um, he uh, he couldn't have needed the um, the facilities this evening. Uh, Paul got in there quick. Ray wasn't quite uh, bad, seen as uh, he's uh, limping. Well, not limping, but uh, not too good. Welcome to everybody else, Doreen. There is um, good evening, Vera. Vera's back. Um, Michael Hughes is back. Bob's back. Changed and ready to. G oh, charged and ready to go. I thought you was um, going out uh, again this evening, Bob. So um, yeah. Um, don't forget for those who are back with us already. If you want your lists with you, don't forget to get your list ready to know who they are what they are who's coming up next etc etc so very well done to um graham h on his win in the first color round it uh, was i must admit it was a a worthy winner so um well done to you graham uh who else has come up uh sue's back in with us yet yeah. and i don't I left the foyer <laughs> yeah <laughs> and if uh if jan's listening this evening a um hello to jan up there in the um north of the country and anyone else who is watching this evening um, if you are watching and you are signed in, then do put your name in the chat just so that we know you're watching us and able to hear us loud and clear. Who else is back? Mark's back. Hi, Mark. Drink replenished and back for the second half. Yeah, it's the mono section or the black and white, whichever one you want to call it. Um, so Richard's back, uh, Jim's back, and Doreen's just said that Jan is certainly listening in up north. So let's just have a quick slurp before I start. Make sure I've got everything open. Yeah, there's the bits that I need. So, how many have we got? We're up to 16. Don't forget, as you're watching it, please go to the um, relevant section and click the like, the thumbs up button. And also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, even if there's anybody out there who's watching this evening, who isn't a member of the camera club you're very welcome to join us on these thursday evenings and watches and um as i say subscribe and then you'll know what we've got coming up uh, sometimes i don't put it on until the day but um it will give you notification that things are happening so um let's just look ah yes i see um I get what you mean, Neil. Yes, I get what you mean. Still nice and young. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't want one like mine, mate. Um, yes, just a quick uh, personal message to one of our members, Graham H. Uh, I do know that I've got your um, mount that you kindly lent me. So uh, I shall keep that nice and safe and get it back to you shortly. Does everyone have to keep mentioning him back? <laughs> Come on, Ray. You've had it a week now. You, you're really pushing it, mate. You know, you're milking it. So, uh, yeah. 
Right, we're about there, um, but I see we've not got everybody back yet. Um, they'll come on, but as I've just said, don't forget, click that like, the thumbs up, give us a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you haven't done so. So, I shall just bring up my comments and make sure that everything's working which it is, um, and off we go. So let me just have a quick final look. We're up to 18, so we are a few short, but uh, hi Viv, Viv's back. Um, I might just give people one or two more minutes for the simple reason I know I'm going to get through them by nine anyway, uh, because there's less in the black and white section to what there is in the... Um, uh, black and white section to what there is in the colour so um, I'll just give people a couple of minutes um, and then we'll be off so Bob said are a man or a mouse <laughs> hi Alan Alan's back with us so I'll just put things in place and I'll just get rid of the main and there's your first image showing now let me just check make sure that it's showing it's just going to go any second so you should see it now um hi caroline and dave hope you're enjoying this evening's uh entertainment so uh, I am still sitting here in my sandals and socks. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Never mind. Right. What we'll do is make a start now. I'll just have a final look. Yeah, we're up to 22 anyway. So um, we'll make a start. This is our first image. I'm going to put that full screen so that you can see that. And. Let me just check everything. Yeah, everything's flowing fine. Caroline O's back. So Viv's back. So we're all off to go. Right, number one. All aboard. So nice, very nice picture. A convincing scene from the era of stagecoach travel. All the players are in authentic costume as the coach is prepared to begin its journey. The horses and the coachman are waiting for the off. A trunk is also being hoisted on board and the function of the man with the extravagant hairstyle, his back towards us, I wonder if he's a passenger or in charge. It's the expression of the horses and coachmen that hold my attention. A sort of resigned, here we go again, look. All aboard get 17 points. Baggage cart number two. I think I know where this is. It's an odd assortment of luggage on a trolley, including tennis rackets, a teddy bear and a museum notice. The luggage 68 kilograms. The condition of the luggage scuffed and the labels part removed evokes the travel theme. The first class carriage with its intricate paintwork completes the scene. Number two baggage cart gets 14. Beach transport number three. Beach transport has been held back. So you'll see that one later. Buddha Buddha transport. A top class pan shot. The man on his motorcycle. The jerry cans hanging off. The back. Sorry, I'll start again. The jerry cans hanging off the back in perfect sharp focus. The blur in the wheels exactly what's needed to bring out the speed of travel. But the jumble of detail in the background really hurts my eyes. 
Had it been fields or foliage, the background would have been easy to view. But the brain struggles with the saddling text and the parked motorcycle. Butter Butter Transport number 4 gets 16 points. Car and Caravan number 5. The caravan and the sports car are evocative of another area. era. Other vehicles in shot look more or less contemporary with our times, so it looks as if this pairing is still in use for their designed function. Is it just nostalgia, or do these two vehicles have a lot more style to them than the modern equivalent? So number five, car and caravan gets 14 points. Coal truck. Coal truck number six. Setting the truck high up against a glowering sky gives it real prominence. The ballast in the foreground, some of it washed down from beneath the track, gives us the context of this line in which many trucks of this type would have been used. The tram power line shows us this is part of a heritage center. Coal truck number six gets 16 points. Double power number seven. Back in the day we wouldn't have used the term pollution. This was just part of everyday life. There's a real grittiness in this image. It's raining too. Extra protection has been improvised for 52322. The drivers have been asked to make as much smoke and steam as they possibly can. Although there are several decades between the ages of these locos, they look remarkably similar. One passenger has dared to stick his head out to see what's happening. Lots to enjoy. Double power number seven gets 16 points. Ghost Train number 8. Number 8 Ghost Train has been held back. Number 9 Good in its day. A tracked vehicle in a scrapyard. Stripped of some of its superstructure. The stark monochrome treatment highlights the rugged power of the machinery. The viewpoint with the fan prominent hints at the noise it must have made when it was working hard. Most of the background has been blurred to throw the vehicle into sharp relief. Number 9, Gun in its day, gets 16 points. High and Dry, number 10. This is Britain's smallest car ferry, either during the closed season or waiting for the tide to come in. The foreshortened view emphasises the chunkiness of its design. It is very securely moored and the cars and people at the top of the picture give us an idea of its size. The stonework and shadows provide a fitting background. Number 10, high and dry, gets 15 points. Number 11, high speed chaser. Thanks for the puzzle. I've googled police bikes and I can't find what looks like a battery over the back of the wheel anywhere. I did think of contacting a club member who used to be in the police, but when I'm judging at a club phone a friend isn't an option. Well, the glimpse of tyre at the foot of the picture puts it in the transport category, but only just. Number 11, 
High Speed Chaser gets 12 points. Lambretta, number 12. This image of a parked motor scooter has been cropped very tightly. By taking a frontal view, you've directed our eyes to the handlebars and front wheel. There are many bright shiny vehicles in this competition, but here we see the dense and discoloration of many years of use. Number 12, Lambretta gets 13 points. Number 13, left to rot. Bulldozer, transport, question mark. Well, it does take its driver around. It's sad to see such a powerful piece of machinery with grass growing up between its tracks. You've got down low to add to the perspective, uh, add to add perspective to the picture and make the vehicle look taller and mightier against a dank sky. The power it must have had in its heyday. Number 13, left to rot, gets 14 points. Neighbours off to Cornwall, number 14. The size of this Pantechnican is emphasised by its position in the frame and the comparative narrowness of the road. The distance of transport is hinted at by the cab having a sleep compartment above it. The overhanging foliage suggests removal from a country home. The parked van, turners in association with bishops, move and with its trade association bag, badge tells its own story. So number 14, neighbours off to Cornwall, gets 14. The next image is number 15, which is... Number 70013, Oliver Cromwell. And number 15 has been held back. Whoops. Hang on, just got a problem with me. There we go. So the next one is number... 245 to Stourbridge, which is in our competition, number 16. Another heritage vehicle shot, and I was sad enough to find out the letters on the front stand for Birmingham and Midland Motor Omnibus. The gloomy sky, the damp road and pavements, the trolley wires overhead, and the railings all add to the atmosphere as number 245 struggles up the slope. I'm not uh, sure so much of the white building on the left is needed, but certainly the period traffic sign should be included. Number 16, number 245 to Stourbridge gets 17 points. Old 714, number 17 in our competition. Is a radiator enough to cover the title transport? Even with a badge stating London transport, poor old thing, there's even a patch on the radiator to keep it going. But unless it was found abandoned in a field, it's been driven to a show and you've seen the humour in its number plate. Number 17, old 714, gets 12 points. Number 18 is Oliver Cromwell, departure. The driver's looking back from the cab and there's an official on the platform, so we know safety is a priority. 
The foreshortening of the loco gives it a stocky appearance, emphasising its power rather than sleek design. I guess it's going full ahead backwards, but turntables are not common on heritage railways. There's enough steam to evoke days of yore, and the treatment makes this image look as if it's on an old postcard. I'm intrigued by the reflection of a spectator at the far left. Number 18, Oliver Cromwell departure gets 16 points. Number 19, Perseverance. The design of these scammel cabs oozes power. I remember vehicles like this bringing the fare equipment to town when I was a boy. Mr Wakefield's. Not sure whether he wants to be known as A, AJ or Arthur. The two figures, the man in dark glasses with a camera on the left and the man in the baseball cap to the right give us the context of a showground. Number 19, Perseverance, gets 16 points. Secured and cast off. How technology has improved on the Sturmey Archer three-speed gears. The contrast is between the cycle secured to the drain pipe and the cardboard cup with its Christmassy image discarded. Is there a social message here? I like the framing of the shot, giving us just enough context without distracting the eyes from the two main elements. The white vignette is a matter of personal preference. Some would say a dark vignette helps to narrow the scene. Number 20, secured and cast off gets 17 points. Steam powered flat bed lorry, number 21 in our competition. It's been difficult to isolate this vehicle. There is a competing traction engine to its left and to the rear the tarpaulin covered load blends in with a caravan. The detail of the vehicle is pen, pin sharp but with the monochrome treatment, a lot of detail is lost in its load. The driver, one hand on a lever and the other holding a shovel, looks as if he's just seen something shocking. For me, he's the most interesting part of the picture. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at the bloke looking a bit shocking. Number 21, steam-powered flatbed lorry, gets 17 points. Taking a trip out. Taking a trip out is number 22. It's a strange pairing seeing a US Army Jeep being driven by a civilian in a tweed jacket, waistcoat and tie and wearing glasses and not looking where he's going. As for the vehicle, perhaps it's being taken on a test drive. It is sharp in every detail, from the rope at the front in particular to the star at the back. For a moving vehicle, a slower shutter speed would have given a bit more blur to the tyre treads and made movement more apparent. So taking a trip out gets 15 points. That way, number 23. And that way has been held back. Number 24, the carriage. Lighting is on full and there are a few passengers. Is this early morning or late at night? There are no clues from the heads of the passengers what sort of journey this is, long or short. We can see into the next carriage where there may be a few more people. 
The view along the aisle in vertical format could suggest a tedious journey with nothing to see out of the windows. Entry number 24, the carriage gets 14 points. Number 25, tram on a wet day. Number 25, tram on a wet day has been held back. Number 26, waiting for a sea adventure. In view of current circumstances, I wonder how long the wait was. There's a uniformity to the picture with the boats pointing in the same direction and the masts mostly leaning the same way. The picture is well framed from the reflection in the foreground to the tip of the tallest mast. To me, the monochrome image adds a bleakness to the scene. The colour of the foliage might have given a clue to when the sailing season was going to start. Number 26, waiting for a sea adventure, gets 14 points. Number 27, wedding carriage. And wedding carriage has been held back. Number 28, wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows are clearly a form of transport. A friend of mine once got so drunk he had to be wheeled home in a barrow. Two barrows in front of some foliage. Does the treatment make the picture more appealing? Question mark. Perhaps it highlights a similarity of design between the two barrows and adds a sheen which may not have been on a colour image. And the rust on the barrows blend with the leaves on the foliage. The tilt gives the picture something extra. Number uh, 28, wheelbarrows, gets 13 points. Number 29, William Foster & Co Limited, Lincoln, Mighty Atom. I was out in Australia uh, quite a few years ago, about eight, eight, nine years ago, and I was walking around this little museum in a little place called Silverton, which is absolutely miles from anywhere. When I'm saying miles, um, an hour from the nearest place, that's, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. And there was a, a William Foster's steam engine in Australia in this uh, little museum. They get everywhere. So, number 29, this is. The shiny machine is photographed to show every detail of the mechanism which drives it along. The driver is concentrating hard and her companion is looking out to gauge the next turn. In the trailer, some passengers are looking forwards, other watching what's coming along behind. Monochrome perhaps makes the, makes the sky look more threatening than it would have done in colour. Adding atmosphere to the shot. So William Foster & Co Lin, Lin, Limited Lincoln Mighty Atom gets 17 points. Number 30, World War, start again, let me have a drink. World War II Fordson RAF Fire Tender. And as I said, this is image number 30. A detailed image of a vehicle which would speed service firemen to a fire. Of the two protective suits, the asbestos one on the right looks a lot more protective than the one on the left, which at first glance made me think of a Christmas elf. The water tank can be seen through the cab windows. Fires must have been smaller then. 
a well composed shot in sharp focus and number 30 the Ford Scenario fire tender gets 16 points Right, that is all of your images on the um, main competition. So I will just show you now the held back images. And your first image is beach transport. So beach transport is number three in the competition. Donkeys have been a form of transport for over 5,000 years. There's so much to see in this picture. Firstly, the donkeys themselves, heads down, obediently doing their job. Then the expression on all of the faces. The riding youngsters looking a bit apprehensive and the adults, some keeping a protective eye on the youngsters, others heads up, toiling up the beach. The spray... I'm just doing something, that's why I'm spluttering. The spray is flying up from the waves. Perhaps this is a place where the air is bracing. A very well composed group. Beach transport number three gets 19 points. Ghost train number eight. What looks to me like a combination of slow shutter speed and flash gives the continuity of the train over the length of the platform with enough detail in the driver's cab to give sharp details. Especially the poppy symbol. There's an odd effect where the passengers on the platform seem to have more legs than bodies which adds to the ghostly theme. I like the atmosphere you've created. Number eight, Ghost Train, gets 18 points. The next one, number 27, is Wedding Carriage. A crop of the road at the bottom of the image would help the movement in the picture, but there's plenty to see. The people on the left, apart from two, are looking at the carriage. The expressions on their faces really add to the scene, especially the children's. The horses with their plumes look magnificent. The driver and groom are concentrating on their jobs, and the happy couple look happy. I hope they do. Certainly the husband, the wife's face, face partly hidden by the lamp. A joyous occasion, well photographed. Wedding carriage number 27 gets 18 points. Number 15, number 70013, Oliver Cromwell. If you weren't at a photo shoot, then you must have been trespassing. Being so close to the tr track gives an excellent perspective on the locomotive and its coaches. I'm guessing Oliver Cromwell isn't, sorry, I'm guessing Oliver Cromwell is stationary. A few wisps of sea steam can be seen. There isn't a better way to compose this shot. There is a tiny group of people in the distance, but they don't detract from the image. So number 15, Oliver Cromwell, gets 19 points. Whoops. It's just shot two. The next one, That Way, which is number 23. The view through the cutout caught my attention immediately. Perhaps you found the viewpoint and then waited and waited till something interesting could be seen through it. The position of the delivery driver is perfect. The fact that the bike was being wheeled would have helped. The domino logos are particular and particularly the L work well with the geometric form of the arrow. And the delivery person is going in the direction of the arrow. 
you certainly caught a pizza the action it's number 23 that way and that gets 19 points and your winner this evening is number 25 which is tram on a wet day and this image has a great deal to recommend it the dominant tram is sharply depicted from end to end and up to the pantograph it's all right i'm looking for a pantograph and up to the pantograph pantograph and overhead cables it also reflected in the puddle on the near track the people on the pavement in front of it show this is a busy place <coughs> excuse me the figure on the right is walking out of the picture but reflected in the windows of the tram are other trams or maybe buses those on routes two and five clearly she may be continuing her journey number 25 tram on a wet day of course being our winner gets 20 points so well done to everybody i'm just gonna switch that off so that i can read the comments so so ghost train was paul wedding carriage bob beach transport michael oliver cromwell oh it's shooting up now uh night allen crossland that way 19 paul walker tram on a wet day jim blaney well done to you all well done to you all so um that's great uh what i'm going to do now is just show you the ones that had to be knocked out which uh let me just go in here uh mono here we go so these are the pictures that were taken off because there uh, there was number threes in the list so some people only entered two some people entered three so um it was a case of some people got them knocked off some didn't um so if you entered two images those two were entered if you entered three images then the third image was knocked off so this one's called and once again i'm just going to leave it so i can see the title up here escalator and we've just got the escalator there going up um do i like the fact of just seeing the feet maybe i would have liked to have seen where the escalator was going so nice clear image though you know nice and sharp but i would have liked to have seen where it was going this one is getting up steam nice one again steam all over the picture and it just gives you that uh sort of feeling of this um steam um lorry at the time uh, and what uh, smoke it pulled out i just feel the image isn't somehow it just looks a little tinted to the tiddle tilted to the left this isn't quite straight here so do make sure that they're vertical got the photo yeah it's going around the city or town wherever and taking the photos just just got a little bit more in front than we have behind so um that works nicely um so everything's okay there maybe a little tweak on your blacks would have put a little bit more black into these darker areas and into the horse just a little bit and if you've got the ability just do a little bit of um, noise reduction on an image like this just to take a little bit of the noise away next one is harley davidson uh, once again it's quite noisy just try and get a little bit of that out maybe if you can some people like it i think on an image like this i would rather have liked to have seen the the detail the really fine detail of the bike so um possibly just take a little bit noise out 
just be careful the top of the helmet just looks like it's touching your border so just be careful with something like that uh, next stop Gainsborough nice image this is up at the cathedral by the looks of it um, in front of the cathedral um, nice image you're a little bit tight on this side on the left hand side but it's still okay once again I just wonder whether the I know the ground is a bit slant here but I just wonder whether it would have been better just to have tried to get your bus up a little bit straighter this lady looks like she's stood up straight and the buildings look straight so probably it is just this um, slant on the road <coughs> and this one we call who's going to win no it's not it's uh, once important in their different ways so uh, yeah it's a different image I think we've got two little elements here one these lighter parts of the bus up here are a little bit blown out and then in the tank we've got some areas in here which are very dark so I think it just wanted a tweak down on the bright colors and up on the dark colors just to try and uh, give us that little bit more detail but nevertheless works well maybe a crop off the bottom as well to get rid of some of these potholes that we're seeing so um, but otherwise very nice image uh, Paris bound yep nice image again um, doesn't look like there's any movement in it we're just talking about a stationary train in the uh, station uh, interesting station I think with a little bit of tweaking with we the image looks a little bit gray so maybe a tweaks of the blacks and the whites just to um, get a little bit more contrast into the image slowly sinking all of the rubbish in the mud uh, all sinking away I suppose just wondering if I'd been judging this one would I have thought that it was well it is terrestrial transport because you're transporting food from the stay you know from the superstore to your car so possibly a um, little bit of a sparse image though um, I think we've got the elements around here but we're lacking in the middle a little bit bright in the middle so um, I would have liked to have seen a bit more something in there whoops wrong side and this one is snowmobile in white out um, yep it uh, you can just make out that it's a snowmobile um, it is very very white in this area I think because it is so white and there isn't so much detail in it I would have taken a slither off the bottom and probably a slither off the top and made it made it more letterbox really once again it's a thing that moves so you possibly should have had more in front of it than behind so um tanks for the care yeah is the tank again um i must admit i'm not sure this looks like a possibility of a um uh, i'm thinking of the word but um Oh, I can't it won't come to me now um, but um, I, I would like think I would have liked to have seen it with more contrast in it so yeah the good old days there's the old possibly a Ruston's very early crane uh, would have been a marvelous thing in its day we've got some good tones in it lovely detail in the wood uh, we've got the contrast nicely across it and we've got a nice sky a little bit dark on this wood up here but otherwise than that very nice pleasing image uh, the Thames Clyde Express don't know why I looked at the title it's there isn't it very nice image I like the slight sepia tone you've given it uh, I like the chimney in the background it sort of goes with the era so looks very very nice and because of the angle you've got this shot love the um, recession going in the carriages round the back uh, the way they're going off to the 
left hand side as we're looking at it tram number three four five passing through the bows lion bridge yeah another nice image lovely blacks whites and mid-tones as well so we've got quite a lot going on we can see the driver nicely in there and the passengers sharp from back to front very nice image and for some reason well i looked at this one i thought it was a color but i think it's a a very light um sepia type image um i think I would really have liked to have seen the the wheels with a little bit of space around them. So um, it would have been down in the scoring had he had this one. Um, but just having chopped those off does spoil it a little bit. So, But otherwise, nice sharp shot. So, right, that's all of them for tonight, folks. Um, well done to the winners in both categories. Uh, there's no doubt that um, the um, the images that you've produced have been excellent images this evening. And well done to everybody. Don't forget, before you leave, just make sure you've liked. Uh, click the thumbs up button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for checking in again this week. And... We shall see you next week when I have totally forgotten what we're doing. But uh, once again, we'll see you next week. Take care. Until then, cheers for now, and we'll catch you all next week.